Well, 2021 marked the 46th event at the Toronto International Film Festival. TIFF was held from September 9th to 18th, 2021. Due to continued COVID-19 pandemic protocols in Canada, the festival was staged as a hybrid of both physical and digital screenings. Socially distanced in-person screenings were held at the festival's traditional venues, including the TIFF Bell Lightbox, the Princess of Wales Theatre and Roy Thompson Hall. The latter of the two, which hosted the world premiere of Stephen Chbosky's film adaptation of Broadway musical Dear Evan Hansen, the festival's opening night gala presentation. Denis Villeneuve's film Dune received an IMAX world premiere screening at the Cinesphere. Drive-in venues included RBC Lakeshore and Visa Skyline Drive-In. As in 2020, digital screenings took place on the digital TIFF Bell Lightbox platform. In addition to Toronto, the festival also staged a number of satellite screenings in other Canadian cities for the first time. The festival's main awards were announced on September 18th, some live during the Tribute Awards broadcast and others on social media following the ceremony's conclusion. A few high-profile titles in the festival program, namely Dune, Last Night in Soho and Spencer, were not eligible for the People's Choice Award as their distributors did not permit them to be screened on the digital platform. The first 13 films selected for the festival were announced in June 2021. The gala and special presentation programs were announced on July 20th. While contemporary world cinema and discovery titles were announced on July 28th, TIFF Docs, Midnight in Madness and Wavelengths were announced on August 4th. Shortcuts and Platform were announced on August 11th and Primetime was announced on August 13th. Walt Becker's Clifford the Big Red Dog was initially selected to be one of the gala presentations but was withdrawn from the festival after U.S. distributor Paramount Pictures pulled Clifford from its scheduled release due to the rise of the Delta variant of COVID-19. TIFF also announced a special event screening of an unspecified new film by Steven Soderbergh. Details of the film were not announced in advance, except that it was not expected to be his known upcoming film, Kimi. Soderbergh ultimately premiered a re-edited version of his 1991 film, Kafka, retitled Mr. Neff. Kenneth Branagh's Belfast won the People's Choice Award at the Toronto International Film Festival on Saturday night. The People's Choice Award is often considered a bellwether for the Academy Awards, as the winner for the past nine years has gone on to receive a Best Picture Oscar nomination. This includes last year's winner Nomadland, which went on to win Best Picture. The People's Choice Award winner is based on votes and was between The Power of the Dog, Belfast and Scarborough. Alongside the announcement of the People's Choice Award, prizes were doled out to The Eyes of Tammy Faye star Jessica Chastain, TIFF Tribute Actor Award supported by the Tory family, The Power of the Dog star Benedict Cumberbatch, TIFF Tribute Actor Award, Dune Director Denis Villeneuve, TIFF Ebert Director Award, Filmmaker Alanis Obamsawin, Jeff Skoll Award in Impact Media, supported by Participant Media. Filmmaker Denis Goulet, TIFF Emerging Talent Award, presented by L'Oreal Paris and supported by MGM. Cinematographer Ari Wagner, TIFF Variety Artisan Award. And Dionne Warwick, TIFF Special Tribute Award, subject of the TIFF documentary, Don't Make Me Over. Presenters included Kirsten Dunst, Rebecca Ferguson, director Michael Schollwalter, Eva Longoria, and David Oyelowo. TIFF co-heads Cameron Bailey and Joanna Vincent were also on hand to dole out prizes. Here are also some movie highlights. Some of this year's buzzworthy movies include All My Puny Sorrows, a Canadian adoption of Marion Tao's novel, starring Sarah Godon and Alison Pill. The movie follows two vastly different Mennonite sisters who leave their religion. One is successful and facing serious mental health challenges, while the other does not know what she is doing with her life. The Eyes of Tammy Faye. This movie, starring Jessica Chastain and Andrew Garfield, is a period drama exploring the real-life story of televangelists Tammy Faye and Jim Baker and the fall of the Baker's empire, and Faye's subsequent rise to power. The Power of the Dog, starring Benedict Cumberbatch. This drama romance follows two brothers who share a Montana ranch duel following one brother's marriage. Dune. This movie, starring Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya, is a sci-fi adventure movie that follows the character Paul Atreides in his journey to fulfill his destiny by traveling to the most dangerous planet in the universe, where only those who are able to face and conquer their greatest fear will come out in order to protect the people he loves. Last Night in Soho, this psychological horror movie explores the story of an aspiring designer who enters the 1960s and is encountered by an up-and-coming singer. The glamour of this scene is not at all what it seems to be, and a darker twist is awaiting the audience. With adapted and enriched traditions to the Toronto International Film Festival, audiences eagerly anticipate a growth of entertainment next year. That's all for today. You're watching the International News Channel. I'm Ava Blackwell. 
Remember to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss out on any of our latest content.